Good morning, I'm Mark Fine, and in the KCRA 3 Weather Center, we're keeping an eye on the active weather in Northern California. We still have rain, we still have some very gusty winds, and it does look as though those winds are going to stay gusty up until about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, so we have another few hours of that to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at Doppler radar. While there has been quite a bit of a lull in the rain, we have another wave coming, and you can see there are even a couple of lightning strikes with that currently in the area up around, uh, well, just north of Esparto, up in the Cape Valley. We're seeing some very heavy rain come through the Wilts, I should say the Winters area and Fairfield now just getting into some rain as well. There's also more lightning strikes down here in the Bay Area and these will be tracking almost due east. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the San Joaquin Valley as we go through the night, we do see maybe a few more flashes of lightning. We did see a thunderstorm go through Escalon earlier tonight. In the Sierra, we are still getting snow. As a matter of fact, this is the way it looks on Highway 50. They're holding traffic right now on Highway 50 because they're doing avalanche control on the uh, up near the uh, Echo Summit area and uh, they're holding traffic right now while they do avalanche control there. This is the way it looks on Interstate 80. As you can see, we have quite a bit of snow here. Let me actually call up a camera here and show you the way it looks on Castle Peak right now. As you can see, that road's in pretty good shape. We just have chain controls. Interstate 80 is open at this time. The snow level has gone all the way up to about 6,500 feet and I think it's going to stay up there throughout the night tonight. However, once we get into the early morning hours, wouldn't be surprised if this next wave of rain that's coming across the coast range gives us another round of snow that could cause whiteout conditions in the Sierra. As I mentioned, it's still pretty windy out there. Let me show you the current wind gust, the wind that we do have in the area. Sustained winds around 28, 25 miles an hour. We're still getting gusts up around 40 miles an hour. And between now and about four or five o'clock in the morning, we still have the possibility of power outages and trees down. We haven't seen a lot of that yet so far tonight. So let's hope that holds as we go through the overnight. We'll have another update for you shortly.